Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is books that would be more interesting to you if told from a different perspective. It's another topic I've struggled with. I can think of books that could have been more interesting to me. There are in the hundred plus books I read in an average year, books that I enjoyed less than others, but books that would be more interesting to me if told from a different perspective puts an internal measure on it rather than an external measure of interest. So I've been trying to think of ones that it was the perspective that was the issue. And I can't, really. So I've talked before about what does and doesn't interest me in a book. And the thing that, in my analysing of books, I've never really encountered is a single well-realised character and all of the other characters being ciphers. I've encountered books where all of the characters are complex and rounded, apart from sort of, Policeman 2 who walks past, who doesn't really have enough of a role to develop a character, or where the characters are all slightly stereotypical and flat. But there aren't any books where one character has really, really interested me and other characters have seemed of no interest at all. And in the situations where there is an interesting character and a less interesting character even, because of the way that authors approach stories, the protagonist, the point of view character for the majority of the book, is usually the one that is the most complex, the most rounded, if there is any kind of scale of detail and nuance in a character. So, of the books that I've enjoyed, the protagonist has been, if not the only interesting character, the equal most interesting character. So, whilst potentially if I racked my brains I could find some books where I'd like the story when told from a different perspective. That isn't a I'd like the story better. That's just the world is interesting, the story's interesting, so I'd like the story. And there are other characters involved in the story whose version of events I would also like to read, rather than instead like to read. And for books where I just didn't find it interesting because of the world or the story, well, changing the person, while it changes the subplots, wouldn't really change the fact that it wasn't a world that grabbed me or it wasn't an overall premise that grabbed me. So, and changing, so books where it's a great exciting world, it's a great exciting story, and the supporting cast are all well-rounded, complex, interesting characters, and the protagonist is kind of meh. I couldn't really think of any. So I tried thinking of portmanteau stories where you've got several points of view. Things like The Wheel of Time, 14 books long with however many main characters. And there are some books in the Wheel of Time series where bits of each character's story seem a little bit flabby or a little bit skimmed over, where I'm reading it through and I'll get to a point where it changes to a different point of view character and I'll think, oh, actually I was quite into that. I'd quite like to hear more about this bit of story rather than that bit of story. Or where 
I'm going through a bit and I'm thinking, well, I don't really like this enough that I want to read more of this story in detail. I'd quite like to sort of condense this section of the journey for these characters down and either get on to them doing something else or get on to one of the other characters doing something. But none of the characters are ones that I'd want to chop out, that I wouldn't want to see their story at all. So in that case, it would be potentially a lengthening of the book. And so I think, well, what about stories where I'd like, where there's a character who never gets to speak, who's interesting? Well, Lord of the Rings. When you read Lord of the Rings, you see the various characters doing things to try and take the ring to Mount Doom to get rid of it. Spoiler alert, they destroy the ring at the end. But they don't... You never get to see why Sauron is doing it in the book. He is this big existential evil that wants to rule the world. But you never get to see why. And so... I was vaguely curious why I mean, the story, the Lord of the Rings told from the point of view of Sauron, for what, what his plan is, how he sees it, might be interesting. But again, not more interesting than the Lord of the Rings as is. And Sauron's motivation is more in the Silmarillion, really, that the fall of Sauron has already happened. So a book that details his motivations for things already exists. So, not books that would be more interesting if told from a different perspective. I've been drawing a blank for about a week for ones that would be more interesting rather than equally interesting. Or that already fundamentally exist. So, uh, philosophy rather than book recommendations again this week. Toodaloo!